Woohoo! Thanks so much for being here. I'm so excited that you're here and I can't wait to share this information with you. And today I have one purpose, one mission, and that is that by the end of this class that you walk away feeling confident that you can make peace with your food, your body, and your life. So everything I'm doing today is to get you to that spot. So what I'm gonna do right now is give you a little overview of what's gonna happen next. So I will tell you about the housekeeping, anything that you're gonna to need to know to get the most out of this next hour. And then I'll tell you a little bit about me and my story. And then I will tell you the system that you can start using immediately. And at the end, I'll tell you about my new coaching program and how you can join that if you're interested. All right, sound good? Okay. So the first thing is you might want to grab a notebook or something to, to keep some notes in because it's going to, I'm going to be asking you questions at different points and I think it will be helpful if you jot some notes so you can look back at those later. So in a way it's going to be like a coaching session. So that's the first thing is grab a notebook. Um, the second is if you haven't already, then you're going to want to make sure maybe after the session that you download the free cheat sheet that I sent you. And this is going to summarize this main system that I'm talking about. So you can print it out, stick it on your fridge and make sure it, it just might help you stay on track with this and, and remember to put it in place. And the next thing is if you have any questions whatsoever, during this or after, then please just send an email to support at positiveenergyworks.com. And finally, if you'd rather just schedule a free strategy session with me, I will be including the link to that. And the way that works is you'll go to my calendar, choose a time that works for you, and then I will call you and we'll have 45 minutes to talk about what's working, what's not, and I can help you make a plan. All right, so that's the outline, that's what we're gonna do. So let me tell you a little bit about my story and how I came to be so passionate about this. Well, I was about 35 years old and I was in a dressing room and I was trying to put on a pair of jeans and it was a pair of 14, size 14 jeans. And even though I'd been about a size eight or at the most a 10, all through my younger years, there I was and I was not able to get on a size 14. And I had to go out into the dressing room, get a size 16. So this was a big shock to me when I looked in the mirror and I said, you know what, Joan, you're fat. And it was, it was a huge shock because as a kid, my nickname was Toothpick. I was this skinny little kid and I just always thought of myself as a skinny little kid. And I went up through high school, I had gone to college, I'd done well in college, and I got a good job, and I felt like I was doing well as a wife and as a mom to two amazing kids. So everything seemed to be working except this one thing of how, you know, with this shock, how could I be 35 pounds overweight when I'm skinny? <laughs> I just, I couldn't process it. And so that's my first question to you is, did you have a moment where it really hit you that, you know, regardless of all the things that you had tried, that you ended up where you were just dejected because you were overweight and, and it just seemed to be happening to you? So that's the first question to write a little bit about there. So what I did was, and maybe you did something similar, is what I did was I got into a program where I had to write down, measure, track every single piece of food, and I was told what I could eat and what I couldn't eat. And I did that for a while, and I kind of clawed my way back down to a reasonable weight. But the thing was, it was so stressful for me as well as for my whole family that when I got there, it was like, whew, everybody was so relieved and I went back to my earlier habits and of course, that a few years later, there I was again, 35 pounds overweight. So I again got into a program where I had to weigh, write everything down, measure everything, and I again clawed my way back down to a reasonable weight. And so I'm wondering, how about you? Have you had times where 
you've had a little bit of success for a short amount of time and what what did you use so what has worked what hasn't worked so jot a couple ideas about that down so you can be thinking about that so I after going through that a couple times I just thought wow I guess this is going to be the rest of my life. I'm just going to be yo-yoing up and down and I really won't have control. I'll just be like a passenger in my own life, not being able to drive. So in the meantime, I went through some really big changes. I got divorced and my kids went off to college and I learned meditation. I went to Ghana. I learned drumming and dancing and I went through a 12-step program and through all of this I, I also wrote a book called Tuning In to Inner Peace and it was about how to manage your inner peace regardless of what is going on. So after going through all those different experiences and also living in a lot of different countries, so when, when I was still married we'd spent a year in Central America and a lot of time in South America we had ridden our bikes in Australia and New Zealand. And uh, after I got divorced, I went and taught English in South Korea. I had gone to Ghana, as I said, and I also went to Saudi Arabia for a while. And after being in all those different countries, and as well as going through this process of, of managing my inner peace, making peace with life, and then seeing what food was like in other countries, I came out the other side where, with this just kind of new thing where I wasn't struggling with food anymore. And I was kind of amazed <laughs> because I thought that I was just gonna be going up and down pretty much for the rest of my life. And so this made such a big impression on me and I started working with other people and I went through the um, Institute for Integrative Nutrition and became a holistic health coach. I worked on the tobacco quit line where I learned motivational interviewing as a way to coach people through change in ways instead of uh, giving advice and things that push people away, allowing them to talk about their lives and what they wanted and seeing how that really work so I put all that stuff together and started working with clients and that's where I really spent the effort and put together this system that I'm next going to teach you about so the system that I'm going to teach you is focused on three different things it's the why and the how and the what of healthy eating and this is the, really the basis of this program, this Food Freedom Naturally program that I've been working with my clients on. And so what do I mean by the why, how, and what? Well, the, the reason, the way that I got this idea of how to describe it this way is I watched a TED Talk by Simon Sinek, and maybe you've seen this as well. If you haven't, I'd recommend it. And he talks about something called the golden circle. So the golden circle, is three concentric circles and in the inner, in the center, is why. And the next layer is how and the next is what. So how does this apply to eating? Well, it's quite simple. If you think about it, most programs out there, most weight loss programs, what do they tell you? They tell you what to eat, what not to eat. They want you to weigh and measure and write down everything that you eat. And so they're focused on that outer level, on that what level. And that seems reasonable, but let's think about an analogy. So let's say that you wanted to have financial freedom. And let's look at this golden circle. If you were thinking about financial freedom, let's say that your partner said to you, okay, we wanna have financial freedom. So I want you to write down every single penny that you spend and at the end of the day, we're gonna look at it together and we're gonna see if we're on track. I mean, that you know instantly, that has kind of a punitive feel to it for one thing, which might make you use some curse words <laughs> when you're responding and, and also rebel. But the other thing is, it's not, they're not talking, you're not looking at how you're spending. 
So if you were talking about how you were spending, then in that case it would be, well, are you watching the shopping channel late at night by yourself with your credit card out? That would be how. Or if you're going to make a big purchase, do you take your time and research it and talk to people? Or, and similarly, if you're going out to dinner, would you stuff an extra $200 of cash into your pocket just in case? Or do you try to give yourself a little bit of uh, protection there and just think before you go, you know, I think I'll probably just get one drink and put it on my credit card and then pay it off as soon as I get the bill. So that's kind of the, the how is the approach that you take to your spending that could help you get to financial freedom. And then the center of that financial freedom, the why, the why is what am I doing with my life? Like what job am I working at? Who do I want to serve? And what what is important in my life? Do I want to travel? Do I want to support a cause? Do I want to have a nice house so that my kids and grandkids can come stay with me. So that's the why. And so, so you can see in the financial freedom picture that really starting with the why is going to guide then how you spend and finally what you spend. So that's the same idea. And that this is a simple idea that I wanna underscore. If you want to make peace with your food and your body and your life, then start with the why. So in this case, for food, it's similar. Why, why am I here? Wow, you've been given a body. Somehow, we all, we each have a body. We're here on this planet for some undetermined amount of time to do something amazing. So how can your food choices support you having this incredible life? So what, what is your mission in life? What is your purpose? Do you know what your purpose is? And, and so focusing on what your purpose is, what gives you meaning, that's the place to start. The other part about why do we eat is again, because we have a body and to fuel our bodies. So what, what does this body actually need? And the idea that, you know, we were our food, so something as simple as an apple was here long before humans were. So the idea that we need to fuel our body and that's why we're eating. So figuring out what does a human body need to thrive is part of what you can focus on. And, and that is going back to nature in its simplest form. And when nature says, okay, I'm done. So this apple, it says, you know what? This apple is ready to eat. So you don't need to buy an apple juice that has been processed and put into a box with plastic, you know, three different kinds of plastic and a picture of an apple and a straw in a little plastic container. No, nature said, you know what? This apple is already packaged and it's ready for you. So that's the other part of the why is that we're fueling our body in a way that nature has designed this where the system is designed that we eat things from nature so the other part of the why is what we typically do is we're doing emotional eating and if you think about it from birth that most of us have been inundated with this advertising around food pushing us to eat things that are not in our best interest pushing us to eat things that are going to, if we eat too many of them, are going to cause some kind of chronic disease. You know that two out of three American adults are obese or overweight, and one out of two American adults have one or more chronic diseases. And if you live in another country, it's very similar numbers that are creeping up and heading your way if they're not already. So. We've been inundated from birth with messages about eating things to make you happy or when you're sad that you, you treat yourself and all these ideas that we've got either from our parents or from TV or, or the product placement as you walk into a store. And 
So finding ways to observe that emotional eating and ways to break that link. So that's the why. So that's what you want to start with is the why. So anytime you're, you're struggling with something, you're starting to gain weight, or you're having any issues whatsoever, start with the why. The next is how. And so the how of, of healthy eating, so this would be a good time to make some notes. What do you think would be some ways that you could eat, some how, the hows of healthy eating that could help you? So here's some ideas, mindful eating. Think about it, if you ate your food mindfully, you would never overeat. I'm gonna say that again. If you ate every bite mindfully, you would never overeat. So I'm gonna give you an example. When I used to work at my engineering job, there was once a year an opportunity to buy Girl Scout cookies. And I was uh, a big fan of thin mint cookies. And so I'd buy a couple boxes, presumably to bring home. But what would happen more often than not is I'd open the box and there was a sleeve of 15 or 20 cookies. And I would set it on my desk. And then I'd go back to working. And at some point I would be reaching for a cookie and the whole sleeve of cookies was gone. And it was so disappointing <laughs> for a couple reasons. One is there were no more cookies to eat in that moment. But the more disappointing thing was there I had the opportunity to eat the cookies that I theoretically loved so much, but, and I did eat them, but I really wasn't even there for the experience. So if you're going to eat something and you're, you know it's not very nutritious, then go ahead and eat it, but maybe put it on a plate and you can light a candle, put on some nice music. It's like going on a date with a cookie. You know, just really make it a, a, an experience that you savor. And the thing is, let's say that I put, if I would have put three cookies on a plate and maybe gone and sat outside by myself and really ate them and savored them, and listen to my body, then it might have been that after three cookies, my body might have said, you know what, Joan, that was fun, but I actually now need some fuel. I have a long afternoon of work ahead of me and I need something that's going to fuel me. Or another thing that, I, that you might do when you're doing mindful eating is take um, an attitude of curiosity. So if you're getting ready to eat something that you know is probably not that nutritious, then taking a moment to actually read the package. And a lot of times that, that stops me because I'm like, wait, why do I want MSG? And what is, why do I want maltodextrin and, and fructose and corn syrup and all these and guar gum? Like what even is all that stuff? And why, why would I be eating it right now? So that's another way. And then, then the other things is you can add in gratitude. Think about all the hands that have come together on your behalf to get you whatever food is right in front of you. Unless you grew it yourself, then it's probably tons of people that have had a part in bringing that to you. And there's the sun and rain and the soil and the little microbes in the soil and so many different elements that have come together to bring you that thing. So if you can eat with an attitude of gratitude, then you can slow down and really appreciate. And at the same time, you can be thinking about, you know, is this what I wanna support? Did I buy this from a local farmer or did I buy this from a big corporation that I don't agree with their advertising tactics. So again, when you're with that attitude of gratitude and curiosity and, and also reverence. You know, this is one of the first times in human history that most of us, or many of us, have the opportunity to just eat pretty much anytime we want. Whether you're buying office supplies or filling up your car with gas, 
there's generally food right there. And because of that, I think we've lost this, this reverence for food and seeing it as this amazing gift, this life force. It's what is allowing us to live and it's a, it's a gift from nature. And so if you can get back into that, that gratitude, curiosity, reverence, that mindful eating, then, and you've already, you're already clear on your why, and then you go to that how, now the next thing that you're on to is what and you can see if you do a good job with the why and the how the what is almost going to work itself out and so when you're at that what level now you're you're going to be more inclined to eat the nutritious foods and you can do things like instead of saying okay i'm never going to have this or this which is again kind of a punitive approach you can instead be adding in more and more nutritious foods. And this is the probably one of the most fun things I see my clients doing is as they're adding in green juice and green smoothies and more vegetables, they all report that the appeal of the junky stuff just kind of fades away. And I think it's a really simple equation. It's just if we haven't been nourishing our bodies then our bodies are going to be like, more, 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 feed me, give me something. But when you actually just give it a smoothie that has some kale and blueberries and flax seeds or something, then it's like, wow, that was what I needed. Okay, go back to what you were doing. So that is the what level. And, and the other thing about what is a lot of people will ask me, hey, Joan, what should I eat? And my answer is, how the heck do I know? The thing is, I only know what I should eat, and the thing, even that changes day to day, week to week, year to year. The only way I can figure it out is I just listen to my body and I try to give it the most nutritious thing that I can, and then I listen to my body and see how it's reporting. And sometimes, you know, I can be kind of fairly lax and things are okay, but if I do that too long, then I start not feeling that great. And so then I get more strict and start feeling better. So same with you. I don't know if you are gonna feel better being a vegan or paleo or um, you know high carb or low carb. That is something that is a discussion between you and your body and you're gonna figure out what you think that you should feed yourself and feed it and say, you know what, I'm not sure if this is right, just let me know and it will be a continual conversation. So that's the main component of the system is this why, how, and what. And I'm going to tell you another part that is a complement to that. And that is that what I have found is that I help people link their eating to spirituality nature, community, and inner wisdom. And in our discussion of this why, how, and what, we've already talked about spirituality, nature, and inner wisdom. We haven't really talked about community. So I wanna make sure that you, you think about this as well. Have you read the book or heard anything about the Blue Zones Project? This is something I would make a note if you haven't looked into this it is well worth your time. The Blue Zones is a National Geographic research project and what they did was they went out and identified communities where the people tended to have a very long and productive and happy life and where they had a very short time of morbidity is what they call it and that is that time between when you get sick and when you die. And that's what we all want, right? Is we want to have, however long we live, we want to make sure that it's productive and happy and that we're fulfilled. And then when it's time to die, that it's a relatively short process. So they identified a bunch of different communities around the world. And one of the things that they had in common was a strong sense of community. So think about that. You know, you could be eating the most perfect diet according to what you think your body needs, but if you don't have strong, supportive relationships, then you could still be suffering. So that's another aspect that you want to make sure that you focus on, 
you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you're feeling lonely and isolated. Instead, you really want to work on your relationships. Make sure that maybe there's people that you need to forgive or there might be people that you need to break off a relationship with, but that you focus on that so that you have healthy, strong relationships with your family, your coworkers, and your community. Okay, all right, so now, there you go. That is the system. And so I want you to make a note right now, because my question is, now that you know this basic system, do you feel more confident that you can control your eating and your weight, and you can make peace with your food, your body, and your life by doing these couple of things. One is focusing on the why, and then the how, and then the what, and the second is by building strong relationships in your community. Simple, right? <laughs> it may be simple, it may not be easy. Okay, so now I'm super excited because I'm going to tell you about the new coaching program that I'm offering and I have recently redesigned it, so let me tell you about that. So this new program, it takes the, that system that I just described to you, and I'm using the lessons learned from the previous program that I did. So here's the lessons that I learned. Was first, when I first was offering, I was an online course where people were meant to go in and do the modules and uh, comment and comment back and forth with each other. And although when people got in there, they loved doing it, what I heard back was two things. Is one is they weren't actually doing it, so they were starting to feel guilty for not keeping up. And then the second was what I, what I realized was that people are already spending a ton of time at work behind their computers alone. And so to add on more of that, it, it was really counterproductive. So that's one thing that I learned. And the second thing that I learned was that people really flourished with more community interaction. So that's the second part that I've designed in much more community interaction. And the third is, and this is something that I've felt myself as I've done different online courses and online programs, is that it's easy to feel kind of lonely and kind of isolated when you're going through one of these programs. And I don't want that to happen to you. So I've added a one-to-one -one coaching aspect to that. So let me go ahead now and explain the entire program to you. There are six components and we'll be diving in in more detail to each of these. In the first week, we'll have the Fast on the First Challenge. And this is a one-day juice cleanse that we do on the first of each month and there's a free app that you can participate in. There are recipes and shopping lists, and it's really, it's not a day of some dire starvation experience. No, it's quite the opposite. You're actually flooding your body with nutrition, with these fruit and vegetable juices that you can make yourself or buy. So it's a really fun way to, to start off the month. In week two is the why group call. So this is focused on the why of healthy eating and we'll be looking into how to align with your purpose, fueling your body and overcoming emotional eating. And there's lots of different formats that these group calls can take. It can either be a presentation by me or someone else and I can be interviewing someone or we can do kind of more of a community check-in or I might ask a member to do a presentation or lead a discussion. In week three, we'll do the next challenge and this is the Make It Challenge. And this happens on the third weekend of the month from Thursday to Sunday. And again, you'll participate in the free app. You can post photos and you've got your recipes and shopping lists. And this is just one of those chances to Make sure that we're not just buying vegetables and having them go bad in the fridge, but that we're actually developing our expertise at making nutritious items. So it could be salad in a jar or green smoothies or vegetable bean soup or roasted veggies. 
In week four, we'll do the next group call, which is focused on the how of healthy eating. So mindful eating, stress management, curiosity, reverence, gratitude. And with these group calls, you can either just pick up your phone and dial the phone number and join by phone, or you can use your smartphone or computer. In addition to all of that, you have a one-to-one -one coaching call with me once a month. So you can get onto my calendar and choose a time that works for you. And this is one of those things I'm so excited to have added in this latest version of the program because I think it's really easy to feel kind of lonely and isolated when you're doing an online program. And I wanted to make sure that you were able to hop in and talk directly with me to have that connection and accountability and just an opportunity to be heard. And the last part of the program is a private Facebook group. So this is where you have your 24 seven support. You can hop in here, ask a question. I'm in here most days so you can get an answer from me or other ideas from other folks in our amazing community. So here's the way that it looks as a schedule. So the first challenge, fast on the first, and then the group call, second challenge to make it, and then the next group call, and then anytime you can set up your private coaching call. One thing I wanted to mention is that the group calls are scheduled on Mondays at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. There is a possibility that sometimes I may need to change that due to some special event or holiday. And if that's the case, then I will let you know at least 10 days in advance. So let me tell you a little bit about what this program is not. It is definitely not a quick weight loss program. So if you're someone who wants to lose 10 pounds to look good in a swimsuit or a dress, and that's your main focus, then this is not a good fit for you. Instead, this is for people who have already done that. And then they found themselves back out of control and not at a place of peace. This is for people who want long-term, healthy relationships with their food, their body, and their life. They want to be at that peace and they want to be able to have this relationship where yeah your weight may go up and down a little bit as you're managing you know you're at a funeral one day you're traveling another day and you've got work deadlines another day but you have ways you have systems and you have support so that you know that you're going to be able to get back on track and it's not it's not a scary thing anymore because you have the confidence that you know this is something that you can manage so at this point, you know what's all in the program, but you still might be wondering if it actually works. And especially because we've been conditioned to focus on all the calorie tracking, this program probably sounds a little different and you're wondering, okay, that sounds great, but can I actually get the results? So now I'm gonna share some case studies with you. So here's Barbara and Barbara says that well, I love this, that she says she has been working with me for over three months and she doesn't even understand exactly how it's working, but the results have been astounding. And it's totally changed the way that she eats because of this holistic approach. And the idea that she's learning to balance the different aspects of her life to make her less reliant on food as entertainment and getting back to food as nourishment. This is awesome. This is what promotes automatic, healthy eating. And here's what Linda said. Linda is a vegetarian, so she was already on a healthy path, but it really helped her ramp it up. And the interesting in, thing in Linda's case is she had recently been to her doctor and her doctor said, you know, you've got three different conditions here that if you don't be a little bit more proactive, they are going to escalate and you're going to have to be on medication or do something more severe. So it's so exciting for me to watch what Linda's been doing and she used to hate kale. <laughs> so now she, she makes sure that she has kale. She said if she runs out of kale, she has to 
go make a trip to the grocery store for it. And she's making her own smoothies and her own almond milk. She's growing her own mint. She's got a gratitude practice going, eating more veggies. And this part about there not being any rules, it's just the guidance and the support. And it's, this is what holistic health coaching is about, is that that I trust you to, to figure out what you need to do, and I'm going to support you. So I'm not going to tell you what to eat. You've already had somebody do that, and it probably only worked for a short time. This is about you tuning in, taking responsibility, and having a healthy relationship where you and your body are on the same page and where you're finding that peace in all of this. And she also likes this fast on the first challenge because it's a way to, to recommit every month. And this is what Susan is talking about, is she used to come home after work and be eating crackers for dinner. And, and so not only was she eating crackers for dinner, but she was berating herself for eating crackers for dinner. So now... She's just been adding the good foods in and the junk, it just ends up naturally being less appealing. She started doing that fast on the first and when she did, she learned how to make fresh juice and now she makes juice pretty much every day. So this is an incredible change to go from eating crackers for dinner to making your own fresh juice and enjoying it. So this is what food freedom naturally is about. So yes, you can get those results. So here's another of my clients, Kristen. And Kristen lives on a farm in Kansas. And when she came to me, she said, I don't know if I can really do this program because I'm not very tech savvy. But Kristen dove in. She did the fast on the first challenge and she did it on the free app, which she downloaded to her phone. And the funny thing was that she did so well with it and was posting her photos and making her juice, and she actually won the challenge. So if you're thinking that you're not sure if you're going to be able to do it because of the technical aspects, I think you can use Kristen's example to feel confident that, yes, you can do it. So at this point, you might be thinking, wow, that's a lot. Two challenges, two group calls, and a one-to-one 30-minute coaching and a Facebook group. So you might be thinking, that sounds great, but how much does it cost? I packed a ton of value into this program. The challenges are $59 and $29. Each of the group calls are a value of $60. And just the one-to-one coaching alone is a value of $125. Put that all together and it's a value of $333 per month. But I knew that at $333 a month, that would prevent a lot of people from getting this. And I wanted to make sure that you have all these incredible group activities and your own personal coach and you would be able to afford it. And that's why I priced this at just $97 per month. And if there's something that you want to invest in, you want to invest in your future, then $97 a month is a very affordable price. But I want to make it even easier for you to hop in. So I'm offering a 14-day free trial. So all you do is you sign up for the free trial. And if you don't want to continue, just send an email to support at positiveenergyworks.com. Otherwise, after 14 days, you'll be billed the $97. I'm also offering a 30-day money-back guarantee, and this is a no-questions-asked guarantee. So after your payment, you have up to 30 days, and if you're unsatisfied for any reason, just send an email to support at positiveenergyworks.com. I'll refund your last payment, and you'll never be billed again. Okay, so what else can I do to make this something that you will jump in and make this decision and make this big change in your life? Well, how about some bonuses? Both of these bonuses are valid only for United States addresses. The first bonus is a three-month FMTV gift pass. FMTV is incredible. It's like Netflix for health. You can hop in there. You can watch movies on your phone or your computer documentaries, recipe videos, expert interviews, yoga, pilates, meditation classes, 
it's incredible. And the second bonus is the juicing without a juicer kit. Once I send you this, you are going to be able to use this recipe card and this little nylon mesh bag to make your own fresh fruit and vegetable juice. You just put the ingredients in your blender, and even if your blender is not that strong, don't worry about it. Add a little bit of water, make it all go, and that slurry, you can just squeeze through this little mesh bag and make your own fruit and vegetable juice within less than five minutes. All right, so here's what we all have. So you've got the two challenges, two group calls, the one-to-one -one coaching call, a private Facebook group, the 14-day free trial, 30-day money-back guarantee, FMTV for three months, and the juicing without a juicer kit. This is a limited time offer, and the first deadline that you want to consider is if you want to get in on the Fast on the First Challenge, you'll want to sign up by the 28th. And that would be awesome, but there's actually a bigger reason that this really is limited and that's that I added this one-to-one -one coaching, this 30 minutes of my time to the program now. So when my schedule fills up, then this program will be closed. Okay, so here we are at the end of the masterclass and wrapping it all up and it's really decision time for you. I wanna remind you again about that financial freedom analogy. And remember we were talking about the why and the how and the what and how if you really want financial freedom, then you're going to invest in it. You know, just dreaming about it is not going to make it happen. And so similarly, I really hope that you will take this opportunity to achieve food freedom naturally for yourself. So you can picture yourself a year from now, just going, whew, finally, food is just food and I am at this place where I am at peace with my food, my body, and my life. So that is my hope for you. And if you're interested, then just click on the button that says start your free trial right now and hop in there. If you have any questions whatsoever, then please just send an email to support at positiveenergyworks.com. Or if you need to just hop on the phone and do a free strategy session, to talk through this, or maybe you're more interested in just doing a one-to-one -one coaching program instead, then I would love to talk with you. But either way, I am so excited and so honored that you spent this last hour with me, and I hope that you are feeling strong now and confident, and that you know that you can make peace with your food, your body, and your life. So click the button to start the free trial now, and I'll see you on the inside.